Hello everyone, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Max Dupont. Um, a little bit about myself, I'm from Huddersfield. I'm an artist. Um, the information I'm going to be sharing with you today, I sort of came across initially a few years ago, and I've, sort of, I've been researching it for about two years uh, straight. Uh, and I found this particular present, the way this information and knowledge is presented, uh, I personally believe to be the most accessible, uh, user-friendly uh, way. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is beliefs and experience, and the relationship between beliefs and experience. Uh, beliefs is a cause of experience. I'm going to also teach you a very simple but profoundly effective method for uh, programming your own beliefs. Uh, in, in essence, creating the experiences that you want. Uh, uh, before we begin, is it cool if everyone can just sort of like take a few deep breaths so we're all on a similar page, is that right? Yeah, it's, yeah do that now. As I said, this talk is about the relationship between beliefs and experience. Uh, beliefs are the cause and experiences are the effect. Um, so, uh, essentially, beliefs are the cause and experiences are the effect. Uh, this might seem simple, but this is incredibly liberating when, when you discover how it, how it works uh, because in essence experiences that you don't want out of life that keep reoccurring you can, you can discover what their cause is and then you can work to change it and you can also work to create any belief of, uh, experience that you want um, excuse me. I mean, I'm going to use my notes this time if you don't mind uh, that's another thing to say uh, I'm a student of this knowledge and I've been applying it to my life uh, and that's the reason I've stood before you now is because uh, the effect that it's had has been so profoundly incredible I felt compelled to share it with other people so make of it what you will. Um, before we begin uh, anything in an action uh, the origin is always within the mind so in this sense when you set out to accomplish something you've already succeeded or failed before you've even begun at the level of the mind. Um, so how does this work? How do uh, beliefs cause experience? Well, I'll explain. Um, there's a part of our mind, that, a part of the subconscious mind which uh, filters information. At any given moment in time uh, in our daily lives, there's so much sensory information to take in that our subconscious mind can only process a, a limited amount. So what it has to do is it has to divide the information into categories, that, that which is important and that which is unimportant. And the main criteria for that which is uh, which it divides into different categories is our beliefs. And our, in this sense, our dominant beliefs uh, have, have the effect of causing the information that we're receiving all the time to be filtered so that we literally experience things in accordance with our beliefs. Does that make sense? So people tend to believe what they experience and it becomes a self fulfilling prophecy. They tend to experience what they believe. Um, fantastic example. In the late 60s, there were two scientists, uh, Vladimir Rykov and Milan Reisel, and they performed uh, experiments on people where they put them in a deep hypnotic state and then uh, told them that they were the reincarnations of really famous artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael and Rembrandt. Um, one woman who could barely draw stick figures before, it took her a month uh, after this subliminal suggestion, it took her a month to develop the skills of, uh, drawing skills of a good graphic designer, which is absolutely incredible. Um, so essentially, if you believe something to, to be true, uh, then it becomes true for you in a sense. 
if, if a lie is repeated to you again and again and again, uh, it eventually becomes true because it's repeated so much to your subconscious mind, eventually your subconscious will accept it as true.